Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Muhammad Ali and we are going to continue our app from here, okay? In the previous tutorial, as you know that we have uh, added a combo box and then some labels. So whenever a user select any clinic from the combo box, it should display it here on these labels. I mean all the information which is basically the name, address, contact number and the rating. And we are doing this using the data tables. Now in this tutorial, what we are going to do is we will add another combo box and three levels that should display the doctors that work in the in the specific clinic. Okay, that is let's say Muhammad Ali Care Center or IPO clinic, whatever the clinic name is. So how we can do that? Let's do that. Okay. So for that, I'm going to uh, copy paste this. Okay. So copy paste this first, and we will change it for the doctors. So first let change this clinic select clinic to select doctor and the and we have to ch uh, give it a unique proper different name okay from the combo box 2 okay so this is the combo box 2 and if I show you this is combo box 1 okay so make sure that both of names are different from each other okay the name only and we need to add three uh, Labels that should display the uh, doctor name and doctor speciality or you can say whatever I mean and the third one will be the doctor contact number so we don't uh, do not need to change the text for these okay because it we will display it uh, on the runtime uh, with the doctor name speciality and the contact number all you're gonna need is to change names for these okay the names are important so for this one we can say LBL doctor name because we will display the doctor name on this label and on the second we will display the doctor speciality so we can say LBL doctor and the third one will be LBL contact doctor contact so yeah that's it now let's go to the form1.cs file and here we are going to uh, create another table uh, that will contain the doctor names uh, and the I mean all the data, uh, doctors information so let's create another table let's copy paste this for the time saving and instead of that we can just give it a name as DT doctors and inside this uh, table we will store the doctors information so for that uh, what I'm going to do and here you can see for the label 2 and the combo box 2 we will be needing the uh, event handler which is just for the combo box 1 okay so we don't need this LBL2 click which is created uh, by default when we double click here on this uh, label so we don't need this okay so remove this and if you now run the app here you will basically get an error okay here you can see this form 1 does not contain a definition for label 2 click so you can simply double click on that because it create a, a reference to the level 2 and we have removed the event handler so you can simply comment out this line okay and here you can see it will be uh, removed successfully now the next thing which we are going to do is uh, first we will create a table just like we created for the clinic and uh, we will create for the doctors now so what I'm going to do I can simply copy paste this method and you will change it for the doctors okay for the time saving so I can simply paste that here and make sure to change this to first let close this and this will be our fill doctors table fill doctor tables and first of all it will have doctor ID so doctor we are not going to use a doctor ID we will use the if you have worked with the uh, databases which is uh, I mean the basic knowledge if you have so in tables we basically use primary key okay so since you are know that we are not basically using the actual database for now in this scenario so what I'm going to do uh, for that I will simply copy this CID which will be the same okay so we will use the same column here because we will be linking our this table uh, with the clinic okay so this will be clinic ID and the second name will be the doctor name so we can uh, give it a name as D name which name which means doctor name and then we will uh, display the doctor's specialties or you can say specialty whatever it is so we can say D S P E C I A L I T Y, and then we will display the doctor contact. 
so we will have only three columns so the first one will be one two three it is uh, sam all we're going to need is to change this to some names that is let's say dr gia ford and the third one will be the doctor uh, speciality that is what he is able to do so let's remove this text from here and we can say dentist and then the contact number so you can give any contact number you want and remove this rating from here because we are not adding the rating here to it okay so let's first remove this rating from all these so the second one will be let's say Muhammad Ali is the second doctor let's say so here we need to give it you can simply type here heart specialist or anything I mean you want and then some contact number and then the third doctor name and then the contact number and now let's uh, add some more doctors okay with the same ID and then I will explain what we are going to do using this data so let's copy paste this four times and let's change the doctor name to Dr. Peter Jackson and he will be let's say cardiologist okay so copy this I mean you can uh, give it anything you want I mean any speciality you want say any name then Dr. Parker and change the speciality of this to psychiatrist and also you can add uh, some doctors for the third ID and the fourth ID now what this mean basically is since you know that we are using the CID column here which is the clinic ID and the clinic ID here also so all the uh, doctors which have ID 1 it means that all these doctors will work in this uh, clinic which name is dentist pro clinic okay so all the doctors uh, which contains ID 1 these doctors will work inside this dentist pro clinic and all the IDs which contain 2 these doctors work in this 2 ID which is Muhammad Ali's center or any clinic name whatever it is okay and the third uh, row I mean if uh, any doctors contain the ID 3 then it basically means that all these doctors will work inside this IPO clinic and the same case for the fourth ID you know that this is our doctor table okay and the name of our that table is DT doctor so you can simply copy this and make sure to uh, change inside this field doctors table change this DT clinic to DT doctors because this is our DT doctors table so make sure to change this first So now all this data belongs to our second table which is DT doctors by the name. Now let me tell you one more thing is that whenever a user select any clinic from here then it should display all the doctors that works inside that clinic specific clinic which a user will select. So what we are going to do for that uh, we have to uh, create another uh, table and that table will uh, only store all the uh, doctors that work in a specific clinic. So let's create another table and we can simply give it a name as DT doctor let's say DT specific clinic doctors so this will be the name of our third table so since you know that whenever uh, inside our combo box one here the select index change which basically means whenever a user select uh, any clinic name then it should uh, uh, display uh, the doctor so we are going to create a query that will uh, copy the uh, doctor's uh, names uh, from the I mean the data from the second table which is for the doctor and we will store that inside this uh, third table which we just created which is by the name DT specific clinic doctors so we, we are going to select the data from our second table and it is by the name DT doctors so we can simply write dot select and it will work the same like a select query uh, the clinic ID is common in both the first two tables so we can say clinic ID and we should use the same name which is CID so make sure to use the same name here so I can pass that equals to and then after that we are going to uh, get that uh, clinic ID from our first uh, table so we can simply say DT clinic and then put these two braces twice uh, I already explained this the first one is for zero and the second one is for the column 
so we want that whenever a user uh, select any uh, option from the combo box one so it should get the index of that so it is by the name select index selected index okay so to specify the uh, column which is cid okay make sure to use the same here okay which is by the name cid so first of all let me tell you uh, first of all this will uh, return the row number okay and this is the column just like i explained earlier so from the first table which is dd clinic it will uh, let's say if a combo in the combo box one if a user select the first option which is uh, in this case let's say uh, this dentist pro clinic so the index of that is zero and it is in the column cid so it will uh, return the whole row and it will save it uh, inside this cid and using that uh, index we can uh, select all the i mean we can fetch all the information from our dt doctors table which contain the information of all the doctors and we are storing it inside this dt specific clinic doctors so now this uh, dt specific clinic doctors uh, inside that we will have only all the information whose id is one since you know that uh, in the given example which i am giving you uh, we have selected this dentist pro clinic whose index is zero okay and the id is one so only id one doctors will be uh, available inside this third uh, data table so i hope you understand this but if you have not then don't don't worry when you run the app you will understand further but still if you have any uh, confusion then let me know in the comment section down below i will further explain it so once we do it uh, now we have to uh, convert it to uh, dead table okay so we can simply say copy to dead table since you know that uh, it is basically returning a row this select okay so we have to convert it to the dead table so that's why we just write dot copy to dead table so it will store this whole row in a, our this dt specific clinic doctors table now we have to uh, display it on our combo box 2 so you can simply write combo box 2 dot data source and the data source for our combo box 2 is this third uh, table which is dt specific clinic doctors and on the combo box 2 we want to display the member which is the doctor names okay so make sure to use the same column name which we just created here for the doctor, uh, doctor name we have D name so copy this and paste that here so yeah that's it now the next thing is to display it on the I mean we have to set the values to the labels let's copy the uh, data of our combo box one labels for the time saving and we will change it for the doctor's labels so paste that here and now you can simply change this to LVL doctor name and it is inside the third table which is dt specific clinic doctors okay so make sure to first change this okay so dt specific clinic doctors dot source and we have to display it on the uh, that is in the second combo box if a user select any doctor then then uh, we have to display the that specific doctors information so uh, combo box two dot selected index and the column name is d name and now let's uh, remove this and we can copy paste this one since it contains all the so the second column and then the third column okay so let's copy paste this which is doctor's specialty so paste that here and then we have our third column which is let's change this to d contact okay so doctor contact so copy this and paste that here and now let's uh, so the first one is LVL doctor name the second one is for the LVL doctor speciality and the third one is LVL doctor contact so yeah that's it and now we have to call our this method which is field doctors table just like we call the field clinic table here we have to on the form load we want to call this method here so yeah that's it now let's run the app and here we go here you can see dentist pro clinic is already selected so if i expand this so all these doctors work inside this dentist pro clinic let's say i'm going to select muhammad ali center okay which is any clinic and inside that uh, clinic these three doctors work work which is muhammad ali uh, sasha peter and dr parker 
so if i show you this in the code okay which uh, table we created here so you can see muhammad ali center id is 2 and from here you can see this only these three doctors which is muhammad ali sasha peter and uh, this Darker Par uh, Dr. Parker words here. Okay, you can see that. And if we select any doctors, then it should display all the uh, specialty, the doctor name and the doctor contact number. Let's say Dr. Mohammed Ali, he is also a heart specialist, and then Sasha Peter, and she is a psych uh, psychiatrist, and this is the contact number and all these things. Okay, let's select any other cl clinic which is IPO clinic. Okay, so here you can see it display uh, in the IPO clinic only one doctor works, which is uh, Dr. Rida Peterson and this is all the information of that doctor. So if we select the first one which is dentist for clinic inside that uh, we have four doctors which are these ones so let's select Dr. Pompeo. So Dr. Pompeo is a dentist the contact number and this is her, his name let's say Sasha Glenn okay so dentist and she is also a dentist let's select Dr. Gia Ford she is also a dentist and Dr. Peter Jackson is a cardiologist. And now one thing which I uh, want to tell you guys, you can see here uh, it is editable, okay? So we do not want the user to uh, make some changes here, okay? So in order to do that, how we can here go to the form1.cs, okay? And select this combo box and if you come here above, then here we have uh, this property which is drop down style. So from here you can simply change this to a drop down list. So here you can see now the user will not be able to change anything uh, anything from here okay so if you run the app so here you can see now it is not editable okay so it will now display all the information so yeah everything is working fine that's it for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now